Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the current pen case that I am using. Um, I do get questions about the types of pens and highlighters that I use in or on my Instagram. Um, so I thought I would do an updated one. I realized that I haven't done a what's in my pen case since I think two years ago. And I was actually using um, this pen case here. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this before, but um, I believe in October or November of last year, I decided to switch to this case because um, I am using a little bit more pens um, this time around. And just really quick, this pen case is the Kipling 100 pen case. My friend was so generous to give this to me, um, I believe two or three years ago and I'm just now really using it consistently um, so I'm really happy that she got this for me because I do know that it retails for I think 50 bucks I have heard that you can get it uh, on sale if you can find it at TJ Maxx or um, I think maybe Ross I did buy a Kipling backpack at Ross so maybe you can find one there um, it is on Amazon as well. I don't know if the exact print will be on Amazon, but Amazon does sell, sell them as well. And um, I believe on their website, there are some Kipling cases that are going for 35 bucks. But yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, so really quick, out the outside, it comes with the, um, the staple um, keychain that Kipling has on all of their products. And then I have my coffee mug that I bought um, from an Etsy shop like two years ago. Same thing with this keychain here. It's a Christmas one. I'm just going to keep on there. Um, so that's what I have on there. And my name is Coffee Planning Mama, so that's why I got the coffee mug. And I love coffee, so that's what I got. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. I love how smooth the zipper is. And as you guys can see, it's pretty packed. I don't like zippers that tug or it kind of like stops and you kind of have to move it around a little bit, but this is pretty smooth to me. So um, anyway, so when you open it up, it comes with um, a couple of pen loops, a lot of pen loops. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And I believe it's fourteen on the other side as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, there's twelve. The reason why I wasn't using this before is because I'm not a fan with the pen loop. Um, as you guys can see, since my paper mate flares here are kind of on the fatter side, it I'm pretty sure I can fit it in here. It's just not as like can't get it in there as easily as I would like. Unlike this case right here, where I can literally just throw everything in here, and not worry about the pen loop too much, like putting it back and stuff. That's the reason why I liked this case. And same thing here, like on this side, I can just throw it in. But with the pen loop, I feel like I have to um, make more of an effort to put it in. But these are the pen. The, these are the pens that I rarely use. I do use them once in a while in my passion planner daily, or in my memory planner if I want to add more color to it and um, use them as headers, or if I just want to color code or just make my do some lettering and stuff. Um, I will keep it on here. I do plan. Um, not just on my desk, I'm either my kitchen table, on the couch. So having this with me, um, having everything in here with me and just being able to take it wherever um, is pretty convenient. So I tried zooming it in and it's not working. So this is a medium point or medium tip. Um, I'll do a separate pen testing because I've actually been wanting to do one in my passion planner. Um, so hopefully I can figure out how to zoom in and zoom it in a little bit better so you guys can see the tip um, these were not all in one pack I believe there was two separate packs there was one where it was tropical colors and then the other one was like basic and on this side is all of my highlighters um, I like having it all oh and a post-it note because I do use this uh, sometimes in my planner and in my um, my budget planner. I want to say sometimes I kind of use it on a regular. So yeah, so I always have post-it notes in here. 
Um, and then all of my highlighters are in here. Random nail file, which I will keep in there because you never know. I also have a ruler in here as well that I've had forever. Um, if you guys are familiar with the store typo, I used to work there. I was a store manager for several years. I'm going to show you guys the Uli pens first, which are these pens here. Or I should say highlighters, they're not pens. I think that is all of them. This actually isn't the whole set. This um, I needed because I was running out of color coding colors because my other highlighters I only had 12 in and I needed more but um, again these are the Uli pens I did buy this at PlannerCon last year um, uh, so it's a chisel tip and then it's what sold me was the erasable part and I remember having something like this when I was a kid and I would like I think they weren't they weren't highlighters, they were markers that I had, and it's one of, one of those like invisible um, invisible ink ones, and I, I remember like, drawing with it and stuff, but yeah, um, that's what made me fall in love with these ones. And it has come in handy a couple times in my budget planner where I messed up highlighting the wrong thing, and I was able to go back and erase it, so that kind of worked out. So those are my Uli highlighter pens. The ones that I use very, very often are these java ones that I got from Amazon and I believe when I purchased them it was like five bucks or six bucks for a pack of 12. I did get a lot of questions about this on my Instagram and these are what I use and I do have um, a cheat sheet that I use for my budget planner um because i do highlight my budget categories and this is what they are and i use a combination of these highlighters and my early ones um and i kind of have the names and everything written down on there so um i use it mostly for my budget planner and then for the next random ones i have these two or three actually four really random ones that I was using and I think I use this one for my budget planner it's just a sharpie highlighter and I also have these random ones here and I think I've had this since college I've just never gotten rid of it so sometimes I use it sometimes I won't and then I have this from um, when I used to work at typo it's a oh, I think I'm running out because you used to be able to I think it's twisted oh no yeah I can still twist it up um, but it's a wax highlighter so it's kind of like crayon ish um, so I have that and then I have the very infamous um, zebra mild liner highlighters so it is in the chisel tip and there's also a fine tip as well and I like using this for, um, I like using this part if I just need to like circle something um, or do some faux lettering and stuff or use it to go over lettering and if I want, if I want my planner to look more colorful. Um, so yeah, these are all of my highlighters and I'm going to put these all back and show you guys what's inside this case right here. Case within a case. Inception. Okay, so put all these highlighters back. I don't think I showed you guys how these ones look, but it's a chisel tip as well. So moving on to this pen case here. This was actually gifted to me by a friend on Instagram. Her name is Shannon, and she is just planned with Shan here on YouTube and on Instagram in case you guys wanted to follow another fellow planner nerd. Um, and it is an Ipsy case, and the color, I love this color. Um, kind of matches my sweater too. But in this case, I just keep the basic things. And by basic, I just need regular black ink pens. Um, and a few other accessories, or when I say accessories, I would say essentials, um, which is what I consider an essential is my whiteout tape. Never gone back to liquid whiteout, so love the whiteout tape. I'm actually running out, that's my last one. And then I have a few just basic pens here. Um, so, and I have a mechanical pencil as well because I like to go over things sometimes with a pencil first, like in my Passion Planner Daily if I'm um, 
creating a spread on the back I like to do it with pencil first and make sure I have lead just in case and this is one of my this is actually my favorite mechanical pencil that I took from my husband that he took from work he said a customer gave it to him um, I have no idea what it, I think it's Pentel um, from what I can read on the side but it's actually um, kind of scratched off now but it looks like pencil and I, I honestly don't know what brand it is um, but I love it because I like how the eraser comes out and then I like how to push the lid out it's on the side so yeah I love this pencil mechanical pencil and this pen here I've actually used for a while it's the Papermate Inkjoy gel pen in 0.5 I do love um, a fine tip pen I also love clicker pens because I'm probably the worst at keeping um, the caps on the pens. Um, so yeah, this I've actually used for a while and I have them in different colors as well. So these pens right here are my newest pens, um, pens that I've been wanting to try that I kind of, I've seen on Instagram, but um, I decided to finally splurge um, in December and I spent 50 bucks on pens. Yes, 50 bucks on pens, but I do use them and um, I don't know if, I think there was another one. Oh, I'm missing, I'm totally missing one because it's on my passion planner, which is in my purse. So I do tend to keep pens just clipped on to whatever planner I'm going to be using it with. So this guy right here is also new. So um, let me start with this one. This one is the Pentel Energel Liquid Gel Ink Pen and it is in 0.5. And like I said, these pens I've seen on Instagram before. I've never tried this pen before. Um, I was always curious about it and right now I am using it in my passion planner daily and I love it. Um, so that's that. I'm going to leave it out because I'm going to put it back on my planner. Um, this pen right here is a ballpoint pen and it does not write in purple. It just has, um, it's just purple but it does write in black ink. It is the Pilot Acro Ball um, pen and I believe... Uh, I've never tried this before, but I have come across it before, and I was just curious because um, anything with a fine tip, I'm willing to try. And so far, I love it. I do use it in my faith journal right now for journaling. And these, I don't know how to pronounce these. Is it tool pens? Tool pens? I actually first discovered this when I was working in AAA. One of a um, couple of coworkers there were using these pens, and I fell in love with it. And I believe this is in the 0.5. It says fine on here, but when I ordered it, um, I believe it was in the 0.5 tip. Um, so far, I kind of been randomly just using this in whatever planner I feel like it, because um, it's in my pen case. But I do like this one as well. And I like it because it's smooth. A lot of these pens write pretty smooth. And this pen here is the Zebra Sarasa pen. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And it's in the 0.4 tip. I actually have never seen a 0.4 tip before. I've never used this pen before either. And I love the fine tip of this. I like using it in my passion planner um, because it allows me to write a little bit better inside of those boxes. Um, so yeah, and I also like that the clip here kind of moves. So I'm a big fan of clicker pens, gel pens, fine tip pens, and this last one is a Muji pen. I see this a lot in the planner community, and it, I honestly think it's a really awesome pen. I don't know if they have like a clicker pen or not, but I do love this pen. I think um, next month I'm going to switch out this pen. Um, that's on my passion planner daily and use this one instead. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do, like, like I said, I, keep, I don't know if I keep saying it, but I'm going to do more pen testing and stuff. Or not more, but I'm going to do pen testing in my passion planner. So kind of give you guys more of detail, I guess, on these pens and how they write. So yeah, these are the rest of the pens that are inside of my pen case. And it's just going to go back in here that 
is it for this video. I don't know how long this was. Um, I have a timer going on right now and I've been filming for 38 minutes. So hopefully I'll get to trim that down. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next one. Have a great day.